Did she say yes? Uh, uh, it's about time we've been counting the ceiling tiles out of here. Of course I said yes. <laughs> All right, well then, call the chapel. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. No, wait, wait, no. What do you mean, no? You, you said yes. I can't, not like this. Why not? Honey, you look great. You look beautiful. Oh. I want to be a blooming, blushing bride. I want Papa parading by my side. I want a veil that'll trail to the altar rail. I want a groom that'll pale with pride. I want tin cans and all old, old shoes that all my loving friends no longer care to use. I want an orange blossom wreath. I want to smile and show my teeth. I want to be a blooming, blushing bride. <laughs> Would you like to change for your encore, darling? Adam, don't you get it? I get that you're a constant surprise, Liza. No, Adam, it's a, it's a song my father used to sing to me when I used to play Bride. You played Bride? Yeah, didn't you? Well, um, I'm the groom. I'll, I'll play the groom. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm the father, I'm here, so, so what are we waiting for? Uh, no, uh, men. All right, you are going to leave. And the next time I see you, you're going to be wearing a suit. You are going to get tin cans and old shoes and an orange blossom wreath, a disposable camera. She already said yes, now scram, now leave, now find an orange blossom wreath, tin cans and old shoes. Cameras. Cooking segment, take one. this at home. Take it from me. If you want some of Chef Mario Russo's famous brick oven pizza, order in. Would somebody call the fire department and you'll cut? Cut! Thank you. <laughs> what are you Poor laughing baby. at? You have to eat this. No, I thought you loved me. Well, it isn't our fearless leader. I was right. Total disaster. We're going to have to wipe out the entire segment. Rudy, that's a keep. What? Dad, the show could use the humor. And bring in some recipes. You'll be doing the cooking segment every week. Man. Dad, no. Yeah. No? Do you think I need blush? Well, if, if you want a little bit. Let's see here. Here's the brush. Here you go. Oh, thanks. This was real nice of you to come down here. I know how busy you are. Well, Adam was uh, going through hell and in case anything, but he didn't and everything's all right and everything's great with you and Mateo, so. Oh, my heavens. I've been looking for this forever. What, a necklace? Yes, it's uh, practically an antique. My, my dad gave it to me. Uh, uh, he, I was 16. He was coming back from a business trip. I, I thought I lost it when I moved from New York, so maybe it's an omen. Oh. Something old and borrowed. But I want it back. <laughs> now we need something new and something blue. Um, are you opposed to blue eyeshadow? Oh. Okay. We won't even get into the subject. <laughs> Camera? Check. Rings? Check. Music? And you got the orange blossom wreath? Yes, be here any minute. 
Old shoes, tin cans? Uh, tin cans coming up from the cafeteria, and uh, Eliza doesn't know it yet, but she's about to part with a pair of pumps. <laughs> Gift shop? Yes. Do you have any ribbons, blue ribbons? Well, it doesn't matter. On anything? Oh, teddy bears. Okay. Well, would you send up a big teddy bear to room uh, 214? Just charge to the room? Great. Thanks. Well. Anything else? Why are you doing all this for me? Well, you're a bride. And then this is your special day. Yeah, but we don't even like each other. I mean, you know, we're not friends. We're not enemies. And I have a lot of respect for you. I don't know if uh, being married to my dad has changed you or if I'm just finally getting to know the real you. Well, Mr. Chandler, you've been a, a big help. Thanks for including me. Well, Haley loves you and being the father of the bride is pretty important in the wedding scheme of things. Yeah, I guess so. I always wanted to give her one of those, uh, those uh, fancy dream uh, weddings of girls. Yeah, but I think we'll be fine. You know, um... Liza's mellowed you out. Liza? A calming influence? No, 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 I don't think so. Uh, Mateo, um, before you marry my daughter, there's something I'd like to say to you. Man to man. Leave it to Adam Chandler to come across the only orange blossom wreath in Virginia. Ah! Ta-da! <laughs> okay. It's a boy. Don't you think that's a little premature? Well, well the wreath will go on your head, and then we'll just put the ribbon in the back someplace. You're really starting to scare me, Lassie. Yeah, well, I'm scaring myself. Thank you. Do you see these silver-haired gentlemen in the hall? He'll, he'll take care of you. Wait till you see this. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Mr. Chandler, I know what you're going to say, but I promise, I give you my word that I'm going to take care of your daughter, all right? I swear to you, nobody's ever, ever, ever going to hurt Mate her again. Mateo, I know that. You do? You just saved her life for crying out loud. Every time she's been lost, it's always been you that's, that's found her. Clearly, you two belong together. I'm not going to stand in the way of destiny. You were uh, a bit of a stubborn young man, uh, sometimes foolishly proud, but Mateo Santos, you have courage and you have integrity. And those are things that I value a great deal. So please take good care of her. I will. We ready to start the ceremony? You ready? Ready. I'm ready. <laughs> If your cassoulet is not up to par, perhaps you and Erica could whip up a chocolate mousse. That should be fun. She doesn't know the first thing about a whisk or a potato masher. Forget it. Your attempt to humiliate me ends here. I won't do it. You will if I say you will. No, I won't. You're I'll under first. contract. I uh... don't care. Sue me. Well, Ted's wrong about his cooking skills. He stews very well. You're enjoying yourself, aren't you? Tad has to accept that I'm in charge now. This is more than just power play. You're being deliberately cruel. And you're getting a kick out of it. Oh, he's a big boy. He can take it. Why should he have to? Not just Tad, Erica, and Stuart. What is wrong with you? Nothing. You might want to think about that. You're losing friends all over Pine Valley. If you're not careful, you're going to lose me, too. Honey, are you sure you're up to this? I'm fine. 
better than fine. Thanks for helping us get this together. My pleasure. Haley, Mateo, are you ready? Oh, boy, am I ever. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Keeping in mind the fragility of the bride and the circumstances, I'll make this ceremony as brief as possible. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, hear our prayers for Haley and Mateo, who wish to be united in the sacrament of marriage. Haley and Mateo, have you decided freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in holy matrimony? Yes. Yes. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your life? Could I say something here? Of course. Okay. Thanks to you, I'm alive. <laughs> and I'm more in love than I ever thought I could be. I know that God is on our side and always has been. I mean, when, when I was stuck in that cave, I was really close to leaving this earth and God brought you back to me so you could save me. And I know that part of the reason that I was stuck in that cave was because I failed at the honesty thing. I, I know that. I, I had doubts. I, I should have just trusted you and none of that bad stuff would have happened. So I want you to know from now on, I will tell you everything. I, I will tell you everything that happens to me, everything I think, everything I feel. I don't want us to have a moment together that isn't 100% open and honest. And we can do this, Pinteo. Because for the first time in my life, I... I trust myself. I believe in me. And I believe in you, and I love you. And I believe in God. And we're gonna make it. Mateo? Yeah. We will make it. And I know my faith in you was less than it should have been. I've known you always to be loving and true and nothing. Nothing should have shaken my faith for you. That rhymed. <laughs> no, but seriously. I've seen what happens when trust gets damaged. And it's not gonna happen again, I swear. We've been to the edge, you and I. We've gone to the valley of shadows and we survived. Now I know I've... I've never connected with those words before. I've never had a frame of reference, but something special, something stronger than I've ever experienced taught me to trust my heart and my soul instead of my mind and my fears. Till the day I die, I will always trust you. I will always believe in you. I love you, and I always will. And nothing will ever come between us. Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? I will. I will. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. Mateo, do you take Haley to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love and honor her all the days of your life? I do. Haley, do you take Mateo to be your husband? Do you promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love and honor him all the days of your life? I do. You have declared your consent before God. May the Lord in his goodness fill you both with his blessings. What God has joined, let no one divide.
Haley, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Haley. Mateo, take this ring as a symbol of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us ask God for his continued blessing on Haley and Mateo. May your fullest blessing come upon Haley and Mateo so that they may together rejoice in your gift of Mary love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You may kiss your bride. Okay. I want to be a blooming, blushing bride. I want Papa parading by my side. I want a veil that'll trail to the altar rail. I want a groom that'll pale with pride. I want tin cans and old, old shoes that all my loving friends no longer care to use. I want an orange blossom wreath. I want to smile and show my teeth. I want to be a blooming, blushing bride. <laughs> Would you like to change for your encore, darling? Bye-bye.